Good morning. morning. Britain asylum seekers arriving by train, boat or lorry will be removed under new laws announced today. I think I would have been marvellous. Yeah. yeah. A GMB Jur Barbie. Yeah, journalist Barbie. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Different schools. Because she was dys dyslexic. Because she was dyslexic. Yeah. So um, she's, she's marvellous. And Russen, who's 20, uh, was found alive alongside Shane Lachlan, 32, and it's Sophie's mum, you yeah. can say, it's mum. Mm -hmm, she says they didn't take it seriously. They kept saying she's 20, they're all probably out partying. Mm -hmm. I told them my daughter doesn't go out on three day benders. She and her friends are good girls. It was out of character for all of them. I was really on Sunday and they didn't seem bothered. Imagine that. Oh well, yeah, absolutely. Imagine Can't ringing the police. And I don't know what happened, but the police started ringing me, asking for a photograph and description. We all knew it was something serious. All their phones went offline at the same time, but the police didn't listen. They didn't want to know it's disgraceful. Right. Brilliant work every day. But right now, Andrew, does it not feel like at a, I wouldn't say all time low, but, but at a low, uh, yesterday we saw Cousin. again on charges that uh, other people, these poor victims of his flashing, as we call it, indecent mm. exposure, sexual harassment, saying, why on earth wasn't that taken seriously? Questions yeah. that are being asked about our policing, yeah, that, which is and devastating right to ask, yeah. but, for us, but for the yeah. police as well. But I think that question is. Mm. I wonder how, you know, if, if there feels like a sort of lower level of confidence in police, how many people might think, I mm. want to go and There's join raging public decency and burglary. Yeah, um, her, Libby's mum must be, you know, she's on a campaign to say, take the lower level offences yeah, yeah. seriously. Yeah. Because at the end of some of these lower level offences, yeah is going to be the most, I'm, I'm sh absolutely sure from the evidence on all political sides that Sue Gray is a woman of great integrity yeah, yeah. and had exactly. uh, appointed her. Yeah. Yeah. Is she Hi, good morning, morning. Brynn. It is six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Now, it was this time yesterday that we reported on the fact that the, I mean, any parent of young people, anyone, of course, but any parent of young people, our hearts broke, didn't we, when we found out that uh, three of these youngsters had been killed in this terrible crash. But I think the thing that uh, uh, Severally uh, through through the show this morning I mean one of the one of the mothers of, of one of the victims of this accident has been quite straight about this She said that she felt that the police simply didn't take the missing yeah. people report they had had, uh, had been you could see when you try you can, I suppose you can see the woodland there um, well, we so speculated time um, we've also got very good news this morning. We're going to be meeting a, a great hero of this programme, Dr Maggie Adderin, of course, there. Would you, like, would you like to be honoured with a Barbie doll? Oh, yeah. Could I have a Ken? <laughs> to, to be fair, Richard, you yeah. do look like Ken. You've compared like yourself. Yeah, that's fair enough. I walked into that one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so okay. we'll talk to Dr Maggie. She um, attended 13... Uh, the Barbie, she thinks, you know, shows the potential what young girls... ...and examining rocks and stuff on Mars seem to have found evidence of fossils. Of She'll have a view on that. She will definitely have a view on that. And she also wants to be the first woman to go to the moon. Yeah. So we'll talk to Dr Maggie a little bit later on. Uh, but today's main news right. this morning, immigrants hmm. hoping to claim asylum in the UK will find themselves detained, deported and denied the right to ever return under the government's proposed immigration bill. Under the new law, refugees who travel to the UK through any other country but their own will automatically lose the right to stay no matter if they arrive by plane, train or small boat. Yeah, it's not just small boats, it's kind of any way that they get here illegally. Sanctuary will only be offered to unaccompanied children, the gravely ill and people who've come directly from their own countries and genuinely face death if they're sent back there. Even then, MPs are going to be able to cap the total number that Britain takes in with an annual vote on what that number should be. So it's all changing. Jonathan Swain 